In this video, we're going to look at multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation. But as we do, the answer we end up with is not going to be in scientific notation. It will be close, but not quite. So in this case, if our final answer is not in scientific notation, we must convert it or change it into that scientific notation. So for example, 6.7 times 10 to the negative 6 multiplied by 5.2 times 10 to the negative 3. Well, we'll start with the numbers. Calculator to help us, 6.7 times 5.2 is 34.84. And then we'll do the tens by adding the exponents times 10 to the negative 6 plus negative 3 is negative 9. This is close to scientific notation, but you'll notice the decimal's in the wrong spot. It should be after the 3. So let's convert that 3 point to 3.484 times 10. We move the decimal point once. And it's a positive 1 because the number was bigger than 10. The standard number was big. And again, we don't forget that there was this times 10 to the negative 9 at the end. And we have to use our exponent properties to combine those tens together. This gives us 3.484 times 10 to the 1 plus negative 9 is negative 8. Let's try a division example. In this division example, we have 2.352 times 10 to the negative 6th all over 8.4 times 10 to the negative 2nd. Following much the same pattern, we will divide the numbers, probably using a calculator again. 2.352 divided by 8.4 is 0 0.28. Then we'll use our exponent properties on the tens. Times 10 to the, with division, we subtract the exponents. And again, be careful with the signs. We have negative 6 and we subtract the negative 2 exponents. Two negatives make a positive, so negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Be very careful on your signs when you're subtracting. We're subtracting a negative here because there's a negative in the denominator. Again, though, our result is not in correct scientific notation. The decimal's in the wrong spot. So we move it to the correct spot, giving us 2.8 times 10, we had to move it once. The 0.28 was too small to be in scientific notation. It was smaller than 1, so we have a negative exponent. And again, we don't forget that we also have this times 10 to the negative 4 hanging out. So to finish it off, we'll use our exponent properties on those 10s, giving us 2.8 times 10 to the, adding the exponent, Negative 1 and negative 4 is negative 5. And we have our final solution. So as we're multiplying and dividing with scientific notations, multiplying the numbers, using exponent properties on the tens, if our final result is not in scientific notation, we must convert it to the correct form.